Hey y'all and welcome back. Yeah, I see and hear you flying around. Either come half at me or fuck off. Y'all chose to fuck off. Good choice. Drop hazard. Hello, 911. Manuscript down there, but also manuscript up here. <gasps> Fallen Rock Zone. Sounds like the name of a glam rock band or something. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Rusty. Damn. Rusty, hang on! Oh, I'm God. coming! Please help me! Is Max okay? Help me! Help! Help me! Can you hear me? Anyone? I can hear you, but I'm looking for shit. Manuscript. Ranger's office was locked. I'd need a key to get in. Hello? Back here. I'm back here. Hey, please help me. I'm here. I I'm hurt. I can't move. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found. Game true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. So, up we come. Manuscript. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. So we've got a new covered with oily patches that look like liquid darkness. We got a new somewhat kind of enemy. It's basically just this little sludge on the ground that you can uh, hover over to destroy. 
destroyed faster by focusing, but honestly, they don't take too terribly long anyway, so... No, shooting enemies in the head does not do extra damage. As you'll just saw there, I tagged him three times in the head, still took four shots. Well, poor Rusty is rusted. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. The dog! Please don't feed the animals. Rusty. How could Fishing? you? Is only permitted for those visitors who purchase a park fishing license. Rusty, I'm gonna have to kill you for this. Obey the park ranger's instructions at all times. Rusty, Rusty, no, never. Another one of those leaders. Two bears and wolves. Never approach any other wildlife closer than 25 yards. Pets must be leashed at all times. Never leave your pet unattended. We got unlimited uh, pistol ammo, or er, revolver ammo, by the way. This includes even rocks you may find along the river or even simple berries. Fill up. And yeah, this guy is just like Stucky. Where he's just fucking Speedy Gonzalez over here. And then once you manage to break his uh, shadow veil, just a matter of pump him with, full of uh, bullets. Easy enough. And, I mean, you may as well go on and make sure that you uh, fill up your uh, revolver ammo before wandering on out. Well. I'm sorry, puppy. Rip in peace, Max. You were a good dog. And before we leave, might as well take a little look around. Make sure there ain't nothing else. Let's see, we've already looked out behind that. Already looked in there. Doesn't seem like there's anything else. Don't suppose these have been locked. Didn't think so.
Yeah, let's see. Hello? What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Another edge you can just fall off of. They even warn you of the falling hazard. Pull up on ammo. Got a path that leads down that way, and looks like something that leads up over and yeah. With a manuscript. I haven't mentioned it yet, but these little light sources are uh, checkpoints. So it's worth at least dipping into one uh, whenever you have a chance. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Stashes, dude. It also has a shotgun and some batteries I'm not going to use. Moonshine Cave. Uh, this cave was the site of frequent and lucrative bootlegger activity throughout the Prohibition of 1919 to 1933. It was mostly used for temporary storage of alcohol smuggled from Canada, but at times alcohol was also distilled on the premises. If only I could use the shotgun. Now, because of my uh, the way I am using my restrictions, the whole uh, going as long as I can, use it, o only using the uh, revolver, I will still be picking these up because, I mean, I never know if I'll actually hit a brick wall or not, and it'll be nice to actually have it on there if I have the things if I need them. Whoa, hi. Okay, rude. Manuscript over there, so I am gonna have to kill these guys. one all because I need to make a quick turn and grab the manuscript over here god damn it uh, yeah as long as provided that you hit all of your shots 
It is only four shots to kill most enemies in the game. Those speeders, it'll take two full clips plus an additional four. The shotgun can obviously kill them much faster, but, uh, I mean, that's special ammo, and ammo I'm not allowing myself to use at this particular moment. There are only, honestly, only two sections in this entire game that I see myself actually uh, possibly using it on. Boy, problem taken care of. The Great Old One, felled by lightning in 1937. This exceptionally tall Rocky Mountain Douglas fir, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, was over 200 years old according to the local legends. It stretched beyond the stars after it fell. It was measured at 66 meters tall, nearly record length. Is there anything inside it? No? Okay. I think if I wanted to, I could at this point technically run all the way back to the uh, log cabin way back up at the top and completely restock on pistol ammo, revolver ammo, correction, uh, but we got a manuscript and we'll see y'all next time.